more and more people are waking up to the scam that is modern higher education. You see, people are realizing, why pay $50,000 at State University to go into debt when you can pay $10,000 to learn from a specialist? Hyper-specific skills that will yield you a return. If you need a degree to do it, it's guaranteed to not make you wealthy. It's damn sure not gonna get you on this private plane. You know what I mean? The world is changing more and more, and I wanna show you the best opportunity in 2023. Guys, in the last three months, I've made $600,000 selling my specialized skills. Now, some of you might freeze up and go like, oh, wow, that's a lot of money. But I want to tell you something. There's guys making millions of dollars per month doing this. Like, I'm not alone. Anybody see Ryan Serhant? He left a million dollar listing. He did that because he's making multiple seven figures every single month teaching people this world while still excelling as a specialist. You see, in the industrial economy, they say those who don't do, they teach, right? Well, in the new world, only those who actually do will teach. The best business that you can take in this world, mainly if you wanna do whatever the f you wanna do with your life, right? If you want the freedom, if you want flexibility, if you want cash flow, if you want low overhead, it is becoming an online guru, a fake real guru, a real fake guru. I don't even know how to keep up with it anymore. You see, my friends, there is a gold rush amongst us. Everyone is waking up to the scam that is college. And in that gold rush, who actually made the most money? It wasn't the miners, it was the merchants selling the shovels, selling the pickaxes. And so I'm here to tell you guys today that if you have information to be sold, as people are flocking to high ROI activities, then you should consider becoming a fake guru. In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. So let's go ahead, let's hop on this plane to Columbia. I would like to remind you guys that honesty is the best policy here. No cap, straight up. You have to actually be who you say you are if you want the longevity. But I have made a living out of finding growing niches. I started on Amazon 10 years ago. I bought Bitcoin before anyone was talking about it. I invested in Airbnb before there were courses on it. And I'm telling you today, the next decade, the greatest gold rush will be becoming a guru. Let's go. So how, my friends, do you become the go-to guru in the space, clearing $20 million a year, flying private, living life on your own terms, all the wonderful stuff, right? Well, it starts with proving that you are the go-to expert. And, and so from your perspective, you need to just be giving, 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 because you're gonna run into these problems when you start. You're not gonna have an audience. You're not gonna fully understand people's problems. And then you're probably gonna start overcomplicating it too. And so to overcome all of this, there's three things. You just have to understand that nobody's gonna care about you in the beginning. You are are gonna get ridiculed and somebody's gonna say something mean to you. If you can get over those three things, you're gonna be able to find the footing to create, to give, to ultimately develop this audience that you'll be able to provide value to. You're gonna create a community, you're gonna get results for people, and in turn, you're gonna see your whole program, your whole thing grow, grow, grow. So for me, when I started in this, I had spent nine years of my life building brands on Amazon. And so there was no point where I ever had to fake this skill, right? Like that always existed, but it was how am I gonna communicate this to people? Because I, I assume again, I'm talking to legitimate people. And so I had to study content creation, delivery, stuff like this right now, right? I had to be able to give value to people in a way that was digestible and made sense. And so again, what you're gonna do is just constantly provide value, 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 value. You're gonna show your lifestyle because that does, people do wanna see that, right? They wanna see the fruits of the labor. And again, I recommend you be transparent with it. Like I've, I've never shied away from the fact that I didn't get rich super fast, right? It was, a, it was a prolonged period of building these brands. I ultimately sold my company and I'm doing it again, right? And so transparency, honesty, integrity, like that's always gonna be at the center of what I recommend doing. Obviously this uh, space is littered with all sorts of things, but I need you to understand something. 
This is a great monetization opportunity. It's not going anywhere. You're seeing, let me give you one of my favorite examples. I know a guy, he's a Section 8 monster. He's built a Section 8 portfolio that pays him $750,000 per month. 750K guaranteed income every month on Section 8. His name's Tom Cruise, you can look him up. I've been following him since his rise of TikTok. He's a great example of people that do this well. And so he started a, form, a, a business, Section 8 formula, where you can directly learn from him. He does live calls, he has his course material, he has this Discord community, and Tom teaches his exact playbook. He shows his systems. He shows how to close properties. He, you know, connects you with lenders. All the things that really matter. Like I said, there's this gold rush for specific skills. Anyone who's just starting out, they don't want that college degree. They want specific skills. And so this is where guys like Tom, he's already crushing it, right? He has a great life. He's like, you know what? Here's another opportunity to become the authority in my space because there's other guys out there who have Section 8 portfolios, and if they, if, if I don't do this, they will. And we're gonna. See see the world continue to fracture in this manner, you're going to see more and more experts teaching while actually still doing. Some won't do, but they'll have the credentials, they'll have the background, and this is where things are going. So this is why I do think it's one of the greatest business models you can tap into. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so you're probably wondering exactly how to be a fake guru at this point. Well, go ahead and grab yourself a cigar and some coffee because there's magic in this entire thing. Shout out to Colombia. This is some of the best freaking coffee I've ever had in my life. We're actually in Medellin right now, and that's the beauty of this business, right? Hold on. That shit is so good. And so with all of this, like that really is what, to me, one of the cool pieces of this business model, you're able to develop another income stream while literally living life however the f you want to. Like I said, like this isn't work to me. Like this is, this is an art form. This is creation and this is getting to see the world. This is getting to travel and this is putting my family on a private jet. And, and it's all while running my other real business, right? Like I, I used to not call this my real business. It was like my side business It's like, no, it's all real business. It's all synergistic. It's all enterprise. I've been talking more about the, the genius model where personal brand is merging with enterprise and when you're actually putting out an info product or some value add as well here then it like it's just all synergistic the more people that see this are gonna buy coffee you know alpha grind and the more people that buy alpha grind uh, potentially are interested in Amazon and it's like this huge flywheel with you just at the center of it creating content now let me make one thing clear just because you're a good business person doesn't mean you're gonna be a good content creator fortunately for you I learned at a very young age that you can get good at pretty much anything if you're willing to just study others that are very good at something or directly learn from others that are very good at something and again this is why that mentorship thing just keeps becoming more and more relevant more and more people are waking up to this because the money is just so serious I probably caught your attention when I said I made what like six hundred thousand dollars or something like that in the beginning of this video but the point is there's people making several million dollars a month but first you got to get good at making the content that's a big piece of it so let's talk about exactly how to become a fake real guru real fake guru whatever it is all right, it starts with being able to market yourself and it starts with being able to capture attention. And this is where I'm gonna be really candid with you guys because I've been doing this for several years now, uh, largely with no success when I tried to come about it in a palatable way. And it wasn't until I started studying algorithms, studying content creation, studying you know behavioral psychology, all of those things that I really started to make headwinds. Because again, you need an audience, right? And you have to acquire this audience and you can't, like, make money without the audience and the ability to monetize the audience and blah, 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 so on and so forth. And so when we talk about the content creation, the cigar was a good example. You hold the cigar because it, it garners attention. I'm not telling anyone to ever be fake with this. As a matter of fact, I think you should always be extremely real, but you need to be an amplified version of yourself. You are essentially creating content that optimizes for engagement while still being you. If you can't control that, then you're just a feather in the wind and life's gonna blow you around and you might land somewhere good, you might land in dog shit, nobody knows. So if you have trouble being productive, then I would consider entering a season of no. To fight for happiness. People do not fight for happiness enough. People have decided to lean into cynicism and to blame. And so humans aren't rational. And I feel like everyone's afraid to say that. Just because we developed our prefrontal cortex and we have a little bit more reasoning ability than any other animal, uh, we like to give ourselves way more credit versus our primitive biology. We are much more sold on lifestyle and seeing end results and all of that stuff, right? I can sit 
somebody down and tell them exactly how Amazon works and why it's a great business model and like all the beautiful things about using Amazon to build and scale a brand. But unless that person sees the end result, they probably won't, it, it won't stick with them at very least. They might find it interesting, but they won't give a fuck unless they see themselves boarding that private jet to Columbia, working from wherever they want to, creating a life that they actually want to live. This is the psychology behind all of it. And I need to like preface with all of this by saying like, guys, come at it with like an ethical, you know, grounds. Like the intention never, like don't Photoshop shit. Like you, like, I, like I've said earlier in the video, you have to be the real deal. You have to actually live it. But at the same time, when you're trying to communicate a message to someone, it's about showing the result. It's about showing the end result. People will take that as their motivation and work backwards from there, right? And so that's one piece of it, being able to, you know, highlight, I'll put one of the things up here on the screen, but it's like, you know, when you show a lifestyle photo or video with an actual result, like there's days where I'll make, you know, $30,000 while literally sitting on a boat. And that sounds fucking crazy, but that's also what actually works, right? And so again, this is, it's different for everyone. My thing is Amazon. Like, I think I've made it very clear that these segments are going to pop up in all fields of literally everything as more people seek to create specialized skills. And so you're sitting there, you're like, you know, it might be harder if you're running like industrial manufacturing, right? Or maybe it isn't. Maybe you got the whole thing so systematized and, and all that you can still highlight your life. Uh, again, you're probably offering a different, you know, product at that point to a smaller group of people. Uh, before we transition this to offers, I also need to speak to story, your story and what people remember about you. That is how human psychology works at the end of the day. What do you stand for? How did you get there? Humans don't remember like tangible, uh, like rational tidbits very often. It's super rare, but they do remember that Robert Oliver, you know, started at a certain point and he poured five years of his life into Amazon and it totally changed his life. And he started this awesome family. And, you know, then he had a melanoma removed. It derailed everything. He saw the important pieces of life. He wanted to leave an impact. And now, so he's creating this content to help change as many lives as possible. Stories stick. Uh, across the board from a marketing perspective, from a human communication perspective. I've said it before, but like Plato wanted to ban poets in ancient Greece and he wanted to ban poets because storytelling is so fucking powerful. And he's like, hey, if you're not a rational political elite, then you shouldn't be creating stories that could ruin society. Look at, you know, the communists and the stories they were able to, you know, put together against the bourgeoisie and, and how ultimately, you know, that successfully overturned Russia and was communism the right choice. It's like, no, obviously not but the end result was like extremely powerful right from the stories and so again keep reminding you you're coming at this from an ethical place every every time but stories are what's powerful and again like people are afraid to say the types of things I'm saying right now but if you want to be successful if you want your message to stick you need to tell your story in a way that matters you need to spend time hammering through this and you need to show your end result so let's talk about your actual offer and before I do that I want to talk about a handful of people that are like really fucking killing it shout out to this man uh tom cruise in he's like a tiktok star doesn't have a huge audience his info product business is an eight figure empire who wouldn't want to like you're already making damn near a million bucks a month you're already making 10 plus million a year but who the fuck doesn't want another 10 million dollar a year income stream you know like like and that's the power of this world if tom didn't do it somebody else would do it and you better believe other people are still doing it but tom has built himself a moat now he is the go-to authority the section eight formula for winning that world. Ryan Serhant, Serhant, I don't, whatever his name is, he was literally on cable television, like as high as you can potentially get, you know, that, that some people think in this life. And he left that because he's making 20 plus million on the info products, teaching people how to be a real estate. I haven't like deep dove into his offer, but I know his numbers are insane. And so the, the key here isn't to get stuck in the now, is to extrapolate out. And you can clearly see the transition towards specialized skills, the demand for specialized skills. And I reference those two guys because they're as legit as humanly possible, right? And they have a good offer. So let's talk about the offer itself. This is where you have like this scale of how much, you know, how much you're charging to what you're actually giving 
to who is your audience and you're trying to pin it down with all of these things, right? And so like when I set out, I have, you know, I, I know my audience, they're relatively experienced older entrepreneurs and that is the type of person you need to succeed in Amazon, right? It's not like the 18 year old start from nothing kid. And so I know the amount of time it's gonna take for me to dedicate to them with the weekly Zooms, with, you know, like helping get involved with the product selection process, you know, the actual education that's been put together with all of it. And so that's where, you know, you kind of triangulate all of that and it's like, okay, that's what we launched with our offer at eight thousand dollars and I think Tom's is like five thousand dollars right and and mine is maybe limited because how many people have the enrollment fee plus you need money for inventory and, and as my audience grows I'm realizing that's one of the main pain points it's like hey we have some money saved up we want to change our lives but you know I, I'm not in a position to drop twenty thousand on on the new brand as well right and, and that's why I look at Tom's he has solutions like creative financing and basically the ability to start from nothing I think his offer is five thousand dollars and so it opens him up to a broader selection of people um but again you know like then if you want to go spend time with tom one-on-one -on -one and and you you know you're already building a portfolio maybe you're trying to go from like 20 units to 100 units right you go spend a day with him that might be 50 g's right and so there's this whole sliding spectrum of offer value audience and really defining your own value and being real with yourself. Like, you know, me, I've been doing this nine years. And so if I'm gonna work with someone, it's like, like if someone wants to come spend two weeks with me, like I'm a serious money, right? But if, you, if you're just starting out and you're interested in this, because I do think everyone should be creating content. I think everyone should be interested in all of this stuff. Maybe you have a lower ticket offer. Maybe you have a community. Maybe you have some, you know, just something different, right? But again, defining that as it relates to your audience and offer, all of that stuff really matters. So let me tell you guys too, with all of this stuff, the more serious you take yourself, the less happier you'll be. All right, this is like a good time to remind you that we are all just little specks of fucking dust in this galaxy that's unfathomably big and doesn't make any sense and we're rotating and there's aliens and all this stuff. And so I think it's important to have fun with this stuff and see where the world's going, be willing to try new stuff. Nobody has this perfect. I don't have this perfect. Tom doesn't have this perfect. None of the, the people out there have this perfect, but it's the people People that are willing to try it's the people that are willing to put themselves out there it's the people that are moving boldly into the future that are going to capitalize you know capitalize on it to some extent like creating a piece of TikTok content costs you zero the cost is zero you could do it with your iphone and the potential upside is life-changing you know i tell this to my students all the time like one video can can make your product so at the end of the day in this massive global village we're all fighting to just be someone and my advice to you is put yourself out there give give Give, 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 give. You are more impactful than you possibly believe. And that's not on some weirdo self-help shit either. I believe in providing value to others and reaching people, you know, when you, you don't know they need it. And that is the beauty of the internet with all the bad things that these algorithms impose upon us, there is real good. So God bless you guys. Keep tapping in to this wonderful web of Wi-Fi wealth, fucking freedom. I love all of it. Keep leveling up, keep subscribing, share this video with someone. I'm getting better and better with each of them. I know you see it. I know you see it. Much love. Till next time.